everybody, welcome back. Rudy with Alpha Investments. Uh, today we got an interesting little collection video. Uh, I'm going to try changing up the collection videos a little bit. I, I felt like I was flooding the channel because I didn't realize how many collections would start rolling in. And the amount of collections that I've been buying is just getting so out of control. I'm, I'm kind of having a hard time filming and doing that many because I would literally just have, you know, seven days a week of collection videos. So I like to limit that type of video to like one a week. So um, this particular video... <clears throat> I'm going to show you a small collection that I bought. Uh, really, really nice gentleman. Um, something really strange happened and made it a little bit of an awkward, difficult thing. I didn't know how it would be approached and how he was going to feel about it. So I was really kind of nervous about it. Because I'll be honest with you guys, the collection's probably worth around like $5,000. And, um, you know, so I'm estimating just based on like the pictures and the list he sent me before I received it. I expected to probably pay maybe between maybe three thousand thirty five hundred range. You know, obviously dictating on condition if any of the cards have inking on them, if they've been touched up, authenticity, and of course when you get down to actually evaluating condition for all of them, <clears throat> you know, in a picture a card can look packed fresh when you actually pick it up and you put some, you know, you look at it under, you know, at an angle with light, the whole surface could be scratched up or looks like somebody wrote on it with pen and pencil and there's writing and dents or yellowing to the cards and problems well in this particular circumstance i've only encountered this like twice the gentleman and or his family are heavy smokers <clears throat> because of this the cards came to me and they have an extremely strong smell of smoke um the cigarette smell of smoke is so strong on this um over the last four or five days i've laid all the cards out and kind of like, you know, little Lamberge, trying to air them out, let them breathe, take all the sleeves, the cardboard, get rid of all of that that had the scent in it, to really try to diffuse and, you know, reduce the scent more toward nor a normal magic card smell that could affect potential buyers wanting to buy the cards. Um, on top of that, some of the white border dual lands, um, again, have yellowing caused by the smoke. <clears throat> Unfortunately, this is going to significantly hinder the value of the collection. Um, I was really nervous to send the the, uh, the seller uh, like a message or an email saying, "Hey, I got everything. You know, I evaluated all the cards are legit. Everything looks good. By the way, the cards have such a strong cigarette smell. I mean, I can't all. I mean, I immediately have to downgrade all the conditions of the cards due to the yellowing and the smell of the cards." Even if it's an unplayed card, I can't buy it at unplayed prices. Even if it's light play. I mean, you got to move everything to moderate play, some heavy play, and some even damage if it's real bad. And it's just, it's kind of an awkward, crappy, you know, conversation. So, especially since, you know, I gave this gentleman a prepaid shipping label. He was really nice with everything. And I didn't, I didn't really know how to kind of move into this conversation to be very just blunt with it, but not be very disrespectful or anything. So I really, because the cards are nice. It's a beautiful collection. The guy played them for years. You can tell they're not mint or anything, but you can tell they were well loved. And I do want to buy them, but it's just, you know, I've only run into this one other time and it just became a very awkward thing. So <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and pause the video. I'm going to show you guys the collection. And um, um, I did reach out to him. He did give me the okay to kind of uh, film this and talk about it. And uh, I specifically asked him, and he did want me to bring up the smoking. And in his own words, you know, for those of you who smoke out there, not only is it a waste of money, but, you know, you can lose thousands of dollars in the value of a collectible over cigarettes. So, you know, a good guy, Rudy, just want to give everybody a heads up that I just, this is kind of an interesting situation I haven't run into in a while. So let's check it out, okay? I think you guys will like it. All right, everybody, welcome back. Um, like I said, I want to go over a few things. So I went through all the bulk things and I can show you that. I'll show you that in a minute. I pulled out everything of kind of a value to kind of be able to more evaluate it. Anything else over pretty much a couple bucks in value where I can actually assign real numbers to it. Um, I'm just going to kind of glance over some of these just because we have a lot. You can see all of the, here, let me get closer so you guys actually see. I mean, I kind of laid out a lot of these. You got some, you got the artifacts, you got the black cards. No, these are not the dark. These are a uh, future sight. I think these are future adjusted. I think those are time shifted. Yeah. And then, of course, you got some original thoughts. These Lauren, some damnations. You got some really. Who remembers these, by the way? 
Who remembers these? Anybody remember these old foils? How awesome is that? I think that's so cool. Sorry, it's just me. <clears throat> Some more other gold randoms. I mean, this this gentleman collected for so long. He has such a variety of sets from the Ravnica to new to old. It's just, it's very, very fascinating. All the way back to the Ice Age era. I mean, you know, you can see him all the different sets, the Torments, the Nemesis, the Mercadian Mask. All the way to the Ravnica, you can see the lighter gold cards and the darker gold cards. And there's a t-shirt down there. And um, next, you have the blue cards. Like I said, you've got some different foils. And again, yes, even the older foils, look. See the curling? Sucks, I know it's a pain. And then, of course, you got some old cards. you got some unlimited forks and things along those lines. I still love. I think these are so cool. Did, was anybody around back then? Do you guys remember foils like this? I get these in collections quite a bit. I tend to sell them off. You see the Planner Chaos? The logo and these really exotic... I don't know if these were... I think these were, what, FNM promos or buy a box? What are these? You see at the bottom? Oh, it doesn't say. I can't remember if they were buy a box or FNM promos or what they were. So, a lot of things like that. And they're just... They're so cool. Look, there's another one. Isn't that neat looking? Look at that foiling. All right, sorry. I get distracted. Some miscellaneous things. You know, some little... Uh, you guys remember these? I think these were dual decks. Yeah, Jace Chandra. You can see some different other miscellaneous things. You can see some Blood Moons, Ball Lightnings there. Um, pretty good stuff. And then, of course, look, some Dream Hall action, Stronghold, Stone Forge. You got some original Mana Crypt. This was the book promo. Again, these are not, you know, these are not pack fresh cards. These have been played. Oh, yeah. Jesus. Give you an idea, right? So, yeah, not only has this been played, I and mean, we're talking, and that's when we talk about surface stuff, some serious, I mean, you're looking at definitely some heavy play damage stuff here. You got some Transmute Artifact action, also very cool. So, I mean, oops, sorry about the focus, guys. So you got a lot of neat things like that. Yeah, I know. Man of Vortex, the dark. Didn't that spike from like a couple bucks, like 10 or something? Uh, a bunch of shock lands. We got some uh, newer ones, older ones. Got the old Dissension, Ravnica era. And you've got some of the newer ones mixed in, the Watery Graves, things like that. Um, we do have some original duels. <clears throat> you know what? I should have gotten some of my actual other ones out so you guys could really see the uh, the yellowing difference. I, don't, I should have done that for comparison. Because you really can't tell the difference because I don't have any regular bright white ones next to it. Uh, a few lion's eye. Um, but there's one other thing I really wanted to bring out to you guys. And that was actually going to be, if you run into a collection like this, here's a good tip for you guys. Um, you'll notice I have three cards right here. Um, what I like to do is I take some of my bulk stuff. By the way, I'm sorry, I got a mess here. I'm going through a lot of things right now. So these are all sorted commons and everything from my card sorting stuff. So you take some bulk cards from like Ixalan or something, and these are packed fresh cards. Packed fresh cards, as you guys know, you know when you smell a packed fresh card, it has a strong scent to it. So what? Just a good tip for everybody out there. What you do is you take an old card. This is an Italian Nether Void, and you put a brand new packed fresh cards on both sides of it, like that. And I know it's kind of silly, and you kind of leave it over time. And what happens is it actually kind of removes some of that cigarette that's, that's sent to the card. And that can really help you out. So on this one right here, for example, we have an actual English Abyss. Actually, a very nice Abyss. The condition, probably a, just light play. Very nice. And um, same thing. You know, you'll notice I put it between brand new Ixalan cards. See? And that actually helps reduce... I mean, the scent is actually going down. It's way better than it was. <coughs> It's funny how you can tell the old card. Look at that difference, you guys. Look at that old card versus the new one. Look at the difference. So you got these real old cards. This one is just a Volcanic Island. And uh, I should have... Sorry, guys. I should have done some, some of my regular white ones so you could see the bright white versus the yellow tint. So anyways, I'm still able to buy these. But even like a Volcanic Island, that's nice like this. I mean, the condition is very nice. But again, I can't sell it as an unplayed if it has a cigarette scent or any form of strong odor to it. Um, as with all card shops, that is taken into consideration. So I just wanted to share that good tip with you guys. I don't know if a lot of people know about that. Um, another one of my friends from, uh, I think, back in the 90s uh, taught me that. And um, actually, I think the friend who taught me that, I think he taught me because he was a smoker in, like, college or high school. And he didn't want the cards to smell like smoke and his parents would find out or something. So I thought that was kind of a humorous story. So... Rudy with Alpha Investments, uh, I will show you the bulk one final clip here in a second, but I wanted to share kind of a really cool collection. Um, it's really neat, it's got a lot of good value, but man, it just sucks that the value got dinged so bad because of that. It's just, 
I mean, this guy put a lot of time into it, and it's so nice. It's just kind of, I don't know, it's just kind of one of those stories. So hang on, let me show you the bulk now, and I'll be right back. All right, everybody, welcome back. Sorry for the little bit of echo here. I am, uh, I'm actually in my garage area, and uh, I have a pretty good-sized garage. I really don't want to show everything, but um, these are the bulk cards uh, from this collection. You can see a substantial. We're talking, it, it's, it's quite a bit, guys. Look at all the boxes. I mean, we're dealing with quite a bit. I mean, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So yeah, we've got a ton and ton of bulk cards. And I've got kind of everything just airing out out here. Uh, and of course, some of these are just land. Like these are, you know, if you guys look at this stuff, it's just basic land. Nothing crazy. You can get an idea of the age though. I mean, whew, you can smell it. I wish you guys could pull it. It smells strong. So as you can see, that's Kamigawa land. Uh, Lauren, so you can see by the age of the collection and when they played and everything. So, anyway, I just wanted to kind of share. There's a bunch of other cards and different things out here. You can see, like, what do we got here? Kamigawa era cards, a bunch of commons, things like that. You know, nothing too crazy, but just a bunch of commons in bulk. But don't underestimate, you know, I can try to get buyers locally and things like that. But I just wanted to share. This was actually the rest of it. I've got it all airing out uh, here. And uh, I think there's other kind of some funny, goofy stuff. Like, I saw. I think he see he included this as kind of a joke, cause uh, I thought this was kind of funny. It's kind of cute. I thought it was kind of cute. Anybody remember Digimon? All right, I know this video is totally off topic and not worth anything at this point. But come on, how cute and fun is that? Come on, guys, everybody's stressed out and worked up. How much fun is that? Look at the Digimon dudes. Come on, ten year old Rudy approves. All right, come on, I'm a professional. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, I hope you guys continue to learn different things and uh, see what's going on. But uh, you guys have a fantastic day. And uh, boy, a lot of people are selling their cards, man. A lot of people are selling their cards.